Brazil on the last day, uh, last full day of his term today. But President-elect Biden's spokeswoman tweeted that the incoming administration will not implement that order. And new this morning, cutting edge research that's happening right now could give doctors a new way to treat COVID-19 patients. Yeah, we've heard of plasma containing COVID-19 antibodies being used to treat people who are hospitalized. But what about the antibodies found in breast milk? WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer talked with doctors about the science behind using this and local mothers who believe it. It's often called liquid gold. For breastfeeding mothers, every drop counts. But what if breast milk could do more than just nourish your child? That's what researchers are hoping to find out. There's a lot of chatter about that, and I think that's exciting. A new research study is looking at whether COVID-19 antibodies found in breast milk have protective powers to fight off and treat severe cases of COVID-19. The antibodies in breast milk are unique. It tends to be pretty robust and is harder to digest. Um, and so the thought is, you know, that, that, that that's really a good thing. Uh, for babies. Laura Ward, a neonatologist at Cincinnati Children's Hospital, says the research is still in its infancy. It makes sense that breastfeeding is protective um, against this virus. Um, I think we're just starting to come up with that evidence for sure. That's why nursing mothers who contract COVID-19 are encouraged to continue breastfeeding their children. And that's what Debbie Papadakis did with her son, John, when she had COVID-19 back in November. And I feel really good about the fact that such a small person has been exposed and is now getting an immune response, they think, um, that hopefully will protect him if he does get exposed again. But a new diet for John meant he could no longer have milk from Debbie's freezer stash, including milk with potential COVID-19 antibodies. She says it was tough to let go of her stash, but she posted in a local breastfeeding Facebook group that she had more than 100 ounces up for grabs. Giving away your breast milk to a total stranger might seem a little crazy, but informal milk sharing is a thing. To have the antibody potential, I feel like is such a blessing, especially for somebody that might not be able to breastfeed at all. That's a lot of immune response that formula just can't get close to. Debbie isn't the only mom sharing milk with potential antibodies. Emily Jump Wrights received a few ounces for her son, Caden, when she contracted COVID-19. I just wanted to give him a head start because I... At, that, at this point, I was not making any more milk, so I was not able to share any of the antibodies I was making. Bacteria and viruses can be transferred through breast milk, which is why Dr. Jennifer McAllister at Children's Hospital says not to do it. Yeah, I think taking milk from a person you don't know is definitely very risky. But Emily knows those risks, and she has her own checklist before she accepts or donates milk. I stalked her Facebook <laughs> and, you know, looked at everything that she has going on. Um, and she's, you know, a nurse. She has kids of her own. I kind of decided that the risk was outweighed by the benefits. The Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine says it is okay to informally share breast milk in certain situations, like if it's a family member or someone that you truly trust. Guys?